Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Madness. This is a live show taped over at Ustream TVs, Mondays at 1 o'clock Eastern. And today we're going to do some Zentangle step out patterns because some of these crazy women have been doing Zentangle for Inktober and I'm seeing patterns that I don't have and it makes me jealous and so I have to have them. And since I'm recording this, I might as well go ahead and show you guys. I did my Inktober drawing this morning while Dee Dee was streaming. And I did Pogo. And a lot of you may not remember Pogo. Um, because they stopped publishing him in 1975. And look, I dribbled my coffee on it. I was so mad. But oh well, that's what happens when you do stuff like that. Anyway, um... Yeah, Pogo's quite old, and he lived in the Okefenokee Swamp. There you go. So, Pogo's cute. And then yesterday's was Betty Boop. She was my mother's all-time favorite, and I have a ton of stamps um, of Betty Boop, because if my mother saw a Betty Boop stamp, she bought it. I promise you. I have a... Betty Boop tea set. I have so much Betty Boop stuff. But actually my niece wants it and I'm about ready to pack it up and let her store it at her house. And then Dennis the Menace, which is Robert Vaughn in disguise. I should get out his picture so you guys could see. That is Robert Vaughn. I promise you. Elmer Fudd. I don't know when I showed up to the last time. Elmer Fudd, Daffy Duck and Bugs, Dumbo. I like Dumbo. Dumbo was fun to draw. Okay, I did this on stream because I did the lettering on stream. So, yep. So it's going to be a fun book when I'm done. And and I know you guys said I want to color them. I really do. But I like the idea of a black and white book too. So. I think what I might do is end up making photocopies to color. Because I now I don't want to mess with the originals, you know? But that's just an illness in my head. So, anyway. Um, before I turned on the recording, um, CB suggested I looked up, look up, a pattern called Anoika, I think. So, and hopefully it's on the um, um, tagglepatterns.com website because that's what I'm preparing. Oh, it's not on here. Oh, CB, where'd you find it? And CB had to go answer the door. Yeah, coffee makes it look old. Thanks, Eileen. I was so mad. So, anyway. Enough goofing around. Since, um, CB has... Did she say Anoika? I think she did. Because here's one, Akoya. Let me scroll back and see what she said. Anuka, A N O O K A. Okay. Well, but I didn't see that one either. Because these are alphabetical on here. L M N. Yeah, and I'm up. No, wait a minute. I'm up to Ansu. So I will ask her where she found that one. Anyway, I looked before I came on, and I thought this one here was really pretty. Hang on. It should come up in just a minute. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm just a big fat liar. And sometimes you have to go um, to other people's blogs to see how they're drawn. So... Um, 
I'm going to do Mr. Magoo, Teresa. I promise you Mr. Magoo is absolutely on the list. On the list, on the list. There's a bunch still on the list. Every day it's hard to figure out which one I'm going to draw. It is. The decisions, decisions. I know, the decisions <laughs> I have to make in life, right? What right. to feed you every day and what to draw. It's Life is hell. How many tangles have I collected? Oh my God, Dee, I have no clue. Counting tangles is like counting stamps. It's really against the rules. You just shouldn't do it. Don't ever count your stamps or your zentangle patterns. Hi, Jean. So here's the, the step outs, how to do it. I'm hot. Did you turn down the air conditioning? Did I turn it down? Yeah, because, man, it's warm in here. I think it's hot. But it could just be me. Well, I think Robert's raiding the candy shelf right now. And that's fine, you can steal those. Um, I think so, honey. If you, yeah, turn it down just a hair because I think it's hot. Mindy said, hi, Robert. It's too bad you are such a big fat loser. All right, we'll do that one. I'll write it down. Yeah, you exactly, Monique. You shouldn't count any craft supplies at all. And hopefully Wednesday, I will have um, some new watercolors <laughs> to show. Because I looked up last night. I don't know. I, maybe we were at Jennifer's. I don't know when I looked it up. It had to be last night at Jennifer's. Um, and we were talking about the Jane Davenport products. And um, I wondered, I wonder if you can get them on Amazon. So I went and looked. Poor Robert has to get permission to get a snack. No, he doesn't. Uh, he grazes all day long. Are you kidding? Like, he should be a cow. Because <laughs> he grazes all day long. I'm not kidding. Hi, Jane. Poor Robert has to get permission. Poor Robert. Oh, my God. These women are feeling sorry for you. Wah. Somebody needs to feel sorry for me. Don't go around getting a big head. <laughs> You'll just make me <laughs> All right, here. Step one. I'm going to try and let you see if the glare is not too terrible bad. All right, you start with a big curve line. Right? And draw a line outside of it. And then you just keep repeating that, I guess. Which is typical of Zentangle. I don't put the extra steps on mine in red. I did for Jennifer, but um, yeah, on mine I don't because I can figure out what's a new line and what's an old line. And you just keep doing that. And at one time, I intended to um, like do a great big design on the back of these cards, but then I thought, well, that's hard because then I have to decide which way to put them. 
Teresa says hi Ratatouille. It was at Jennifer's. Anyway, I didn't finish that conversation. Um, he tur he's turning the heat up because I say naughty things about him. Are you doing that? Doing what? Turning up the heat because I talk bad about you? Yeah. Make mm -hmm. it miserable for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, I think you're on to something. <laughs> he, he admitted it. Anyway, I was going to do the whole, a whole design on the back of the cards, but then it was like, well, then I have to display both sides. And on these step outs, I really don't worry about it. Yeah, they think I'm mean to you, Robert. <clears throat> he just had breakfast when he went into town. It's cool looking. All right, and then not uncommonly, they will show it. Um, Again, that's really cool. Very cool right there. That's why I chose it because I saw that. So let's do it down here smaller. All right, now we can really talk bad about him. He left. Chased him off. Cry, baby. He needs a second breakfast. No, when I say he grazes all day long, honestly, most people going through treatment like have no appetite. This man's appetite has been turned on to turbo. I'm not kidding. He is turbo appetite boy. It's crazy ridiculous. It's almost like I can't feed him enough. It's bad. Very bad. Oh, and I forgot to get out my pencil. But yeah, everything's going well. He's, um, Friday was his last day of treatment of arsenic for the whole month, so he's off for a month. Um, but we are back on the pills for two weeks, so. But yeah, he's doing really well. I mean, it, it's really awesome. Yeah, it's a good thing. I bug him all the time because, um, he is on steroids. Um, and maybe that's it, Dorothy. I don't know, but I'm not kidding. The boy can seriously eat. And maybe that, uh, well, I thought they had snacks up at the treatment center because so many of those people need to eat, right? Because they don't have an appetite. And, and honestly, they told him when he started this, just consume calories. We don't care where the cal calories come from. You just eat calories. So, I mean... I think I've told you before. He he took that whole idea to heart. I'm not kidding. He'd order ice cream for breakfast. Well, then his phosphorus got high, so I've had to take ice cream away. I really have. Because um, ice cream is one of the foods that is very high in phosphorus. So that I'm going to get a new one out. Um, so, yeah, and his phosphorus was high again the other day. Um but yeah, he's turbo eater guy. Um, let's see. I'm going to get a small one. I think I need to order some more. I throw these away, you guys, after, I mean, they, they're only useful for a small, a short time. Um, so yeah, I, um, I throw them away. And this one I had to draw real small, but that's all right. I'm used to drawing small for Inktober now. <laughs> it 
it's so. nice to have an example though. So anyway, and I can always come back and check it. And it does look like garlic. Whoever said that, it does. It looks like garlic. So let me hold it up because this is really tiny. Um, but it gives me an idea of um, this one was, um, I think it's called a Bundy's. Yeah. A B U N D I E S. And I'm looking at the um, tanglepatterns.com CB, and I didn't find the. Anuka, the one you said, but Eileen put a um, a link in for me, so I can find it here in just a minute. And then when I file these, I just file them alphabetically in my book. Tomatoes and oh, and see, he I make him eat bananas every day. So maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe I should be taking his bananas away too. And now since we don't have um, homegrown tomatoes, I haven't been eating that much. I haven't been serving us too much tomatoes because I cannot stand um Alright, she's got a website here that I'm going to try and type in, see if I can get it. All right, let's see. So, what the outside and inside? Yeah. Well, and now the air conditioning's running. It's getting more comfortable in here already. Person from Icabana needed a check. All right, that's that's good. How big are the Inktober drawings? The overall book, Dee Dee, is five and a half this way, four and a quarter this way. So you know like the drawing itself by the time I do the dots on the edge and stuff this one's like what four and not even four and three quarters wide and like this one I went over a little bit um, by three and a half so they're not big um, Dorothy said um, bananas also are high in phosphorus oh really yeah and I've been force feeding you bananas so been eating my share of them already. Well, oh my God! There's a whole bunch of doctors in chat, Robert. A whole bunch of what? Doctors. No. So yeah, they're they're fairly small. They're not big at all. All right, I got my phone. If you need something. All right. Uh, is Kathy or the caretaker or somebody over there? Are yeah, you going to be alone? Totally right now. Okay. Well, I'm just curious because I don't. Um, if you're over there alone, call me, you know, in a couple hours and let me know everything's okay. Uh, okay. That I that's more what what I worry about. Otherwise, I don't care. I, I got to go out in the garage and get my earphones, and I'm on the way. Okay. Bye. Love you, Love you too. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. Stay out of the sun if you can. This is going to be a lot of fun, I can tell you for sure. I'm sure of that. 
Alright, away I went. Alright, hang on, I'm looking. I've never used this website, so I'm... You talking to me? Nope. nope. Not talking to you. Bye, honey. Bye. By skill level, let's see, oldies, news. The book cover. Hi, Jennifer Krakalakin. Um, this is blue and brown primarily. It's got a little bit of yellow and green in it, but it's this is Magicals. It's blue and brown. This is probably one of my very favorite sheets that we ever ever made. Hi, Orla. Boy, I haven't seen you around in forever. Hope everything's well with you. So, yep, I had to keep that one my own self. What is wrong with this stupid... Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that link. Hopefully, it won't boot me off. Um... Because I, I have no clue what this crazy thing's doing. It's just searching, searching, searching. Telling me to download games, download this, download that. What the heck? Ooh, that one is pretty. The desktop did it right away. That one is pretty. Okay. Well, I can do that. All right, I'd, I'm not looking at chat. I'm even. I'm totally off the UStream screen right now. So, hopefully everything's fine over there, um, and that you can see me okay. I'll flip back and forth between the screens, I guess. Okay, this one is really pretty. It just looks like a flower. So you start with a square in the middle and some curvy lines going out looks like five curvy lines like this to start the pattern okay you guys can see me bye hon okay bye I could have Oh, and I drew it on this one. That's okay because it shows five patterns and I didn't have five boxes anyway. So it almost looks like um, a morning glory leaf is what it looks like to me, or a morning glory flower. So I'm sure it doesn't matter where your curvy lines go. This one is very pretty. And after you see it and get the hang of it, it like it's easy. Easy, easy. Talk among yourselves because I'm not even on the Ustream screen right now. And then just draw R's around those lines in the middle. How cool is that? And I think it would be fun if the lines in the middle were a little bit wider. That's what makes it really cool looking. So, if I redid this, 
um, I would make those lines in the middle bigger. Because if you look at the design, it looks really cool. I might re end up redrawing this one. But this is cool. Very cool. I will definitely be redrawing this one. Can't talk, Arting. Actually, I'll just use the white pen to make my um, white area a little bit bigger. I don't think that's cheating. Right? Not at all. Oops, this one I forgot. I'll just draw the lines closer is what I'll do. And if you look um, on the website, it, it looks way better than what I've drawn it, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and shade this. Because now, when you add the shading is when it'll get um, really pretty, I think. That's my favorite part of the whole Zentangle, is when you add the shading. Holy crap, 52 new messages. I'll look it up. Hi, Sunset. Carol, it's good to see you. I think I just followed you on Instagram this morning. I've tried to be a little bit better about posting stuff on Instagram lately. I had never posted there until just recently. I had one. I could go look at people's stuff, but I never posted anything. So now I'm trying to be a little bit better. All right, I'm going to go look it up. I'm not loving my rendition of it, but it's okay. Um, I'll look it up and... Maybe make a new one and see how other people have used it. Pinterest, however, is a big flipping black hole in my world. Oh. Hi, Nina. I don't know who all I've missed. So, um, yeah. All right. If somebody else has another one they want me to look up, otherwise, I'm just going to go back to my original. Um, Zentangle pattern or tanglepatterns.com. Um, and the other one I had looked up was AGNI, I believe. Try one of Chet Snin's variations, looks kind of steampunk. On the Anuka, is that what you're talking about, CB? Didi got booted? Oh. That's against the law, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's a 
pattern, I take it. Okay. Are you finding these on Tangle Patterns or Pinterest or where, CB? Because I thought this one was really pretty. Oh, wow. Look at this woman's website. Lily's Tangos. Oh, my gosh. They are some kind of gorgeous. Look at that. That's some serious bad boy eye candy. Her name is Lily Moon. All right, so I wanted to draw that one because I think the shading and stuff on that one is very cool. So we will give it a go. I'm right, she's got, she's showing it in six. All right, I'll do it in six because she's showing it that way. A lot of them show it in six, but I don't actually do all this stuff out. Some of them I can figure out. I don't know where my little six um, template is. I thought I had it right here. Oh, there it is. Dropped it on the floor. I knew I had it. Oh, no, a cat hair. How unusual at my house. Cat hair, bane of my existence. I swear, if I did, didn't think that the cat would um, claw me to death, I would so shave her. I'm not kidding. I would absolutely shave the cat bald. Bald cat. Alright, you just start with... I could bring this down a little bit. Six dots. or six circles, not dots. That's simple stuff. Can you see that? That's simple. You can do that. And then in between those dots, it looks like a, or circles, a little bit bigger circle that she's colored in and left a highlight up in the upper right hand corner. That's what we've got so far. And I'm just using a hybrid Technica. 03 nib pen. This is my favorite one. I sent Didi one. Didi, do you love this pen? Alright. Oh my god. You guys are giving me links that I can't follow right now. So anything you want me to see or follow, could you tweeter it and I'll go back later? while I'm binge watching um, Joe 
And for those of you who don't know, that's a show called The Following that I am totally addicted to. Totally. And then just connect these with the dots with curved lines. That's simple stuff, huh? Anybody can do that. Almost making like a netting. Eileen went to take a nap because I'm not doing um, magicals or something. You did? You liked it? The fine line? I do too. I love these crazy pens. You ordered them from Jet Pens? Yeah. You started it yesterday for the fourth time. I just started season five. Or season three, I'm sorry. There is no season five. Um, I think I got too into it. But I'm going to have to go back and watch some of it. Because um, I ended up taking a nap yesterday afternoon. And slept right through. So I'm going to have to go back and watch again. But that's okay. I got nothing better to do later. Because I'll still be drawn. Not sure what I'll be drawing, but I'll be drawing. You know, that's the thing about Inktober, you guys, that I really love. I mean, I really love that it motivates me, and I'm not sure why I get very motivated. Um with Inktober, but I do, and it motivates me. And then after I'm done, I'm so glad that I did it. That's the stupid thing. I'm always really happy I did it. And then you fill in the space between with a diamond shape and color in half of it. Oh, she did that up there, but I'm going to do it on this one. And go ahead and add the circles. Um, up here. See it's getting to look very complex now. When it it's really not. And I this I'm sure could go on forever. Like you could draw this up and out and it could just go on forever so that's cool fill up a big old space with something like this you know the one I want to watch again you guys are going to think I'm crazy which <laughs> doesn't bother me because that's already been determined a lot of times I want to watch the Gilmore Girls again I am a huge Gilmore Girl fan too. Did you watch it, CB? Have you watched the following? Um, yeah, he is like a total psychopath freak. And there's something so appealing about him. Oh my gosh. But these um these brothers in this next season. Um, there's nothing lovable about them. Watching me draw the same thing over and over. I hope somebody's drawn along with me. And these actually, um, like if I was doing this on the notebook that Eileen sent me, um, the dot grid, um, you could keep the spacing on these really, really good. So, Oh, I colored that one in and it shouldn't have been, but that's okay. No big deal. Alright, 
but now I'll try and um, well I don't know if it um, um, I don't want to say anything because if somebody else is watching it then there's I've spoiled it but um, yeah Emma doesn't seem to be a long-term problem at least where I'm at in the show but yeah now sh that is one heartless wench right there I don't think you're gonna see a new another Gilmore Girls you guys that's it I think they're done I'd love for there to for them to continue it but I'm pretty certain they will not now I'm just doing the shading kinda like she's showing it on her thing here can you guys see okay I know it's small I should be doing these big but that's what the end design starts looking. Yeah, Emma was. So, do something productive while I'm doing this. Because this is totally self-indulgent today. Just because I didn't want to mess. I got everything kind of cleaned up over the weekend a little bit. <laughs> It was like, oh, I don't want to mess it up. But now with Ratatouille not being in treatment, I will be home more. This Wednesday, however, we have to go back up to Joplin. Ugh. But I won't be shopping. Anyway, did I end up telling you how I ended up on Amazon last night? <laughs> there. Gosh, hold still. But that one's really pretty. Like a whole border of that would be just awesome. Yeah, it did, Suzanne. I agree. So, there we go. We've got three of them done. They don't take long, really. Um, I mean, you can give me another pattern now, or I'm just going to go on with the list that I... Um, made for myself yeah I like this one too hi Josie it's probably Logan's and Roy will never tell him Yeah, see, they actually, but that's the reason I think some of these places um, or shows and like they do, you know, like you make up your own ending to suit what you want to happen. But um, the reason I like Gilmore Girls is um, It's mindless. I mean, I can sit and draw. I, I can read a book while it's on. Okay, this is also on Lily's website. So, the name of the small eraser, this little tiny one here, is a um, Tombow Mono Zero. And they're very inexpensive. I mean, like five bucks or something. I don't know. Um, but this little thing is a lifesaver. Lifesaver. You were thinking about Eileen and ended up on Amazon. Well, that, yeah, that could be partly it. But, um, well, what, what happened was we were at Jennifer's last night. Let me finish a thought. God, I'm as bad as Robert. Um, and we, we were talking about the Jane Davenport products, right? And I thought, well, I've never looked for them on Amazon so I went over to Amazon and looked them up and um, the little paint sets were there the one that I bought um, the brights and so was the original one now I can't remember what it's called somebody in chat will remember I'm sure um, 
but <clears throat> I think actually if you use your coupon at Michael's your 40% or 50% off coupon um, it works out cheaper actually to buy them at Michael's with your coupon but anyway while I was looking I was looking at the Prima ones too because when I googled it they all came up and they had the a tin that looked identical um, from Prima and it's I thought I had heard somebody say they really like the Prima watercolors so I thought well I mean they're way cheaper they're half of what um, the Jane Davenport's are so I had to place an order anyway because I had to get Robert some um, supplies to clean out his hearing aids and believe it or not I went to um, Hobby Lobby last week and Michael's neither one of them had matte medium so I was going to order some matte medium and I did and the um, the golden matte medium was only like two or three dollars more than the Liquitex and I know Dee Dee loves it um, so I thought well I'm just going to go ahead and and order the golden and give it a try because it was literally three dollars more for 16 ounces so I'm all over that this one you just draw a squiggly line like that and I'm sure the more even your humps and everything are the better it's gonna look when it's done when I see what they're getting ready to do next and then in the humps you draw a curly cue how cute is that so anyway I had to place an order anyway <laughs> so um, yeah so I ordered the matte medium Robert's hearing aid cleaning kit and um, just the Prima watercolors just so I could see so how's that for justification you guys like that The PBO one is okay too. The PBO what? Oh, the um, matte medium. I, you know, in all honesty, I don't probably need a fancy or expensive product. Um, for real. Um, but I do like matte medium. So, yep, I ordered it. Okay, and then you connect them like that. I'm liking this so far. By the time you draw this 10 times, you're so sick of it, you never draw it again. <laughs> when I'm doing this, it actually makes me think of um, Robert's granddaughter came and stayed with us one summer and she had never done any art or crafting or anything like that and one day um, I made her sit down and talk with me or draw Zen Tangles with me I think she's still doing it I, she really enjoyed that because I got her her own notebook and made her do the patterns and she's a very introvert, introverted um, young lady and I think she's doing it to this day so that made me happy oh I only needed four on that one anyway we'll do a, another variation of it
Um, Colleen, I'm going to have to look it up for you. Um, it's not a real kit. It, they're little plastic things um, and they're replacement parts. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up when I'm done here, Colleen, and let you know. Um, but for anybody who's um, living with somebody who has loss of hearing, honest to God, a hearing aid will make your life so much better. I can't even begin to describe how much better my life is since Robert Vaughn got his hearing aids. I'm not kidding you. Last night, um, he was a lazy bum all weekend too, but I'm not complaining because I was the laziest bum of all. Um, but we were in the kitchen and I said something to me and he didn't hear me. And I said, you don't have your hearing aids in, do you? He said, no, I took them out when I showered. I was like, I knew immediately, like I didn't even realize what an impact it was having on my quality of life makes a huge difference but his has um, Colleen his have little wax guards in them and so what I ended up doing was having to buy the the replacement wax guards is in fact what I did and I don't know if they were a good deal or not I know I can probably get them up at Sam's Club um, but yeah I was a-okay um, but look at how fancy hers are. I'm going to do another variation just because I, I like this a lot. I think there's a ton you can do with this pattern. But yeah, Robert's hearing aids have made a huge difference in my life for the better. And I don't know if he'll admit it, but they're improving his life as well. So whatever they cost, spend the money, your life will be improved. Oh, okay, you're not sure if his has wax guards? They're little, I mean, they are minute little things. You need a, a tool to get them out. I don't know, there's a ton you could do with this, really. <clears throat> Keep in mind, I'm drawing these really, really, really small. Anyway, I got the basic idea. I'll come back and mess with it later. And that one, there's really no shading because I kind of did it with the black and the white. So, yeah, some of them have the little brush. His actually has a little part on it that you yank out, excuse me, and replace. Um, but they're so tiny. I mean, so tiny. All right, so I did that one. Andromeda is next. Honestly, if you start doing this, you can spend a lifetime. For real. But the patterns are so pretty. Like Andromeda, I thought this one was really pretty. Hi, Allie. Allie, when your stream is coming up pretty quick, isn't it? Is it tomorrow or when?
what brand did he get? I don't know the brand. I'd have to look all that junk up. Um, check around, Josie. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of it depends on how much really are you willing to spend. I, and I, I still am not sure that more is better, really. I think hearing technology um, has improved so much. His are tiny, tiny, tiny that go down in his ears. Um, I have not come up with my own design, Suzanne. You, you know, I don't know. Um, but I like Robert's hearing aids ten times better than I like Mary's. October 17th. I need to write that down. Um, okay, got it written down. Um, his are way cool because he can adjust the volume himself too. It's got a little um, thing on the back that he can adjust his own so I like that Be Mary's you couldn't the way they set them at the hearing aid place was um, pretty much what you were stuck with so um, I think I can get away with four on this one Yeah, I knew your channel name was Miss Sally Cave, but I just couldn't remember the day and the time. Now, I, I don't think those amplifiers that you can get for, for little money are as good as a hearing aid. And the... Um, these they can adjust. It's they're they're awesome. I love them. And I'm drawing Andromeda now. And it looks like this. It's very cool looking. Now these are um yes, Dorothy his do. Yeah. And if he adjusts the volume on one, it uh, adjusts on the other. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, no, that's true, Orla. Most of them, you cannot adjust your own volume. Robert can, so. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, so that I was really glad about that. And then he's such a dope. The other night we went out um, to celebrate for Mary's birthday, right? We're, we're sitting there at the table with a whole group of people, you know. And, and fortunately, they're all people we know, and they're all about our age or older. So um, he couldn't hear me again. And I said, do you have your hearing aid? No. We're going out with a group of people. That butthead didn't put his hearing aids in. I was just like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. All right. So, got the same design drawn. Now just draw another hump next to the one you've already drawn. That's easy enough. I'm trying to do them kind of the same size. These I'm doing smaller because I want to fit more in. Right? Right.
Butthead, yes. <laughs> now you draw the third leaf. All right, I'll just go ahead and, oh, on this one. Okay, so had to really look at that. Okay, let me draw it one more time a little bit bigger. And place my leaves a little bit different because now that I see how it goes together. But you kind of have to draw it in order too. Otherwise, your overlapping lines won't be the same. Right, right. As I just goofed up, but it's okay because I'll fix it. Okay. Cool. But yeah, um, we had Mary's 97th birthday party, believe it or not. And I think all of us that were there the other night celebrating her 97th birthday, we were all there for her 90th birthday party as well. And her 95th party we had here at my house. So, yep, 97. Who would have thunk? It was fun. I don't know if it was fun for her, frankly, because she was just like, I'd rather be home. And she didn't like the food. But. Oh, well. This one would be very cool, drawn larger. I'm sure of that. And then I'm sure you could go ahead and add as many leaves as you wanted as a variation. Exactly, Orla. Her mind is, is almost gone, Suzanne. Mary doesn't have much of a mind, and she's starting to lose, um, to some extent, the ability to communicate. She knows she wants to say something, and but by the time she... Um, you know, gets part of the sentence out, she forgets what the point was or what she was going to say. And, um, and it's frustrating for her. Yeah, it's just sad. <laughs> it's just so sad. All right, now we're going to move on to B. And I just quickly flip through here. No, they've um, they've removed her from her home now. I'm not sure. Her daughter's trying to make a decision about what is going to happen next. She's over at her daughter's right now. Um, and her daughter, for whatever reason, cannot make the decision. Um, to get her the care that she really needs. She recognizes me still. Now, the other night when we were at dinner, 
and keep in mind, we've known some of these people for years and years. Um, she leaned over, and, and that's the weird thing about Mary. Mary was always very socially gracious, you know. And she leaned over to me and she said, Now, I recognize that man over there, but I cannot remember his name. So she knew that she knew Doug, but she could not think of his name. And um, and then in the same almost sentence, she said, now is he married to that woman next to him? She didn't remember his wife, and they've been a couple forever and ever. So, you know, how her mind works, sometimes I don't exactly know. Um... But, you know, when I told her, I said, well, Mary, that's Doug, and uh, I won't say his last name. And she said, oh, yes, I, re I know him. And so now whether or not she did or if she just still has the ability to, um, to say the appropriate thing, um, who knows. But as far as, like, going out and thanking um, wait staff and stuff like that, no, she still has... Um, all of her social graces, for sure. Um, if you go over to her daughter's to see her, she will always offer you something to drink. Can I get you something to drink? Um, would you like to sit outside? Stuff like that. She's not mindless. Um, but yeah, like, ugh, it's just frustrating. Frustrating. What did I do to my thing? There we go. The brain is very, very complicated. And this one is called, I guess, Balo, B-A-L-O. I'm not even sure I like it that much, but it looked really cool the way they had drawn it. I don't know. I think losing my mind is... Um, the scariest thing ever. <laughs> the name of the last tangle that I did, this one, Jennifer, that's Andromeda. Yeah, she, she hasn't been away from her home very long. In fact, when Robert and I um, got back from OU, which was June 28th, um, she was still at her home, and then she got sick. Um, so July and August were really, really bad months. She got pneumonia, and she was in the hospital. Um, this one, you start out with a zigzag. But yeah, I had coffee with Mary every day of my life for many, many years. And she still remembers me, and she still remembers Robert. Um, I got that one a little close. Drawing a zigzag by hand is not as easy as it looks. Um, she still remembers Robert, and she loves Robert. Oh. And I had forgotten that more often than not, Mary called Robert Bob. And almost nobody calls Robert Bob. But she'll, she'll ask me, how's Bob? Okay, then after you get that, just draw the diagonal lines in there. But I think, too, um, but Robert and I were over there all the time, you know. And so remembering us is easy. Um, I think Mary or Jan, Jan is her daughter. Jan is going to um, 
get her a different caretaker. But I think Jan's husband is ready for this whole thing to change. So, yeah. Yeah, it, isn't it amazing, Josie, how things work? Yeah. My mother only lived to be age 72, so... Um, or 74, I'm sorry. Um, so other than some medically induced confusion, medicine induced, I guess, is a better way to put it. Um, I think there at the end they were overdosing her um, because of pain. But, um, yeah. I never got the opportunity to see my mom as a, a very elderly person. My mom was still very young and vital and healthy, um, which I'm thankful for. I, I wouldn't want my last memories of my mother to be what Jan's are going to be with Mary. This is a, it's the cruelest thing. Alzheimer's is the cruelest disease, in my opinion on the face of the earth. But I still have fun with little Mary and I try and make her laugh and and bring her, your mother was 43, oh that is terribly sad Suzanne. Um, but yeah we still laugh and I brought her her favorite candy and flowers and so she loved being the princess because that's what Mary was pretty much all about. And I'm used to um, indulging princesses because my mother was an only child. I think the quality of this one depends entirely on how much time you take. <laughs> drawing your original zigzag and maybe it won't matter at the end of the day you know I don't know we shall see it's still kind of a cool design Your dad had Alzheimer's, Orla. Sister says, my sister says she's an only child. <laughs> my sister probably wishes she was an only child. <clears throat> All right, now, in the little humps you draw, like flower petals and honestly the more time I think you take making things uniform is going to pay off for you in the end and I have not been careful because I'm yakking and not thinking can't draw and talk at the same time. All right. Now to color things in, I will not uncommonly get out one of the larger pen nibs. Oh, I might have moved the zero one to the couch. Nope, there it is.
Sorry if I'm being quiet. Already. All the ATCs that Jennifer showed last night, I don't know how many of you were at Jennifer's show, but she showed the um, ATCs that have been submitted so far for the Halloween or Autumn swap last night, and they are so amazing. You all are a talented group of people for sure. CB, I love those um, those material ones. I was wondering, because they were so involved in everything, I thought she could not have colored all that. Those were awesome. I never really thought about doing that, but that is that was a cool idea. You're a pretty smart girl there. But they were all awesome. And I will be happy to receive any of them, for sure. And I won't make you endure watching me color this again and again. In fact, I think I'm going to add the last part of this right now on this one and call it done. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and just, I mean, this isn't that hard now that I can see what. And then you just add little humps on the outside like lace. I don't need to do those step outs. Pretty obvious. Yeah, the steps, most of them are really easy. You don't have to do each one. All right, now, this one doesn't show shading, but I'm going to do shading. Because I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, see how simple? And then when you do it in a design, it looks really intricate. And that one will be really cool, drawn larger, too. I'm just adding some shading on the outside of it. Um, to make it look like it's casting a shadow. There. Now, it looks really cool. Thanks, Josie. I like this one, too. Now they're talking about being only children and stuff in chat. I grew up with five brothers and one sister. There was no such thing as being spoiled in my household, I promise you. That was 
follow B A L O. I don't know. And then this next one is oh, this one's going to be really easy. I just thought it was very cool. Um, it's a basket weave, but it's not s exactly symmetrical. Um, that's the best one so far. You think? I like it. It looks pretty. Looks very complex. Why is this doing that? It's driving me crazy. Um, let me see. Here it is. I don't have to go to another website. This one's going to be real easy. Alright, it's called Basque It. Yeah, if you do journal pages, they're great for borders. Yeah, I do them a lot um, with um, really cheap hard lead colored pencil um, in the background of my beast. You know what? Like, just go back in and fill up the background and whatever. It's just in the background, but it's um, like a color. I do it in color. So this one only needs four. And again, I just cut these little templates myself out of those um, cutting mats you can get at Dollar Tree. I thought Eileen had fallen asleep, but in fact she had not because she said that's the best one so far. And some of these are so easy. This one is very easy. There is a beautiful leaf one. One of my very favorite ones is so simple. Is um, and I use it a lot. Um, don't want to use that pen. It's just the one where any line, any line at all and just draw the leaf shape I love this tangle a lot just like that only you do it on both sides but this is one of my very favorites and I dry it all the time. That one's very cool. And this is a good one to start with to draw things around. Your dad's one of 13 kids. This is a whole leaf, huh? Um, I may have that. Um, Suzanne, let me look. I think I know what one you're talking about. Is it called Oak? O K E? Because it, this one's very cool and it looks like leaves. This one? I like that one. Now, how did I get it out of there? O K E. Yeah, that one is cool. Oak. O-K-E is how that one's pronounced. Okay, this one. Simple, simple stuff. Just draw a wiggly, curvy line. And then the opposite on the other side so that your fats, it gets fat and narrow, fat and narrow. Simple. <laughs> 
And honestly, I wouldn't have to do this if my, um, okay, leaflet. I'll write that down, Suzanne. If my memory was better, I wouldn't have to draw these and have to keep them in a book. But my memory sucks. So that then you just connect with lines like that. And I honestly don't need the step out on this one. I could just draw it once and know how to draw it, but oh well, here we are. Got it written down, Suzanne. I will go look at that bad boy when I'm done here. I draw the middle line first because then it, the lines on either side of that is what I'll curve, right? And now it just loaded up an advertisement. Isn't that precious? And this one's going to look different depending on how curvy or how straight you make the lines, you know? The original lines. Bye, Allie. Have a great afternoon. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. But now it'll really change when you add the shading.
Sorry, I'll check chat here in just a second, guys. You just upended the silhouette mat all over me and the floor. Oops. The ginkgo leaf turned into huge flowers. What? Hi, Ange. You got to go home today because it was slow? Well, lucky you. I'm just doing Zentangle because I didn't want to make a mess today. <laughs> it was either that or just say, eh, I'm going to go sit my butt on the couch and binge watch Joe. So, there you go. That's Basket. So, I'm glad you had a day off and you could come join us, Ange. Good girl, Ange. I did get a lot done this morning, too. The next one was probably on page three. I thought this one was really pretty. Bumpkins. Hard for you to see. Maybe it'll be bigger when I go to the website. Hmm. All right, we're looking. Okay, it starts with a grid, then diagonals, then you draw the hearts inside. What the heck? Let's give it a try because the it looked really cool. We'll give it a try. Maybe we won't like it. Maybe we will. We'll find out. That's for sure. I know. It, it has been a long time since you've been here, Ange. But you work, so that's totally understandable. All right, and this is called Bumpkins. Bye, Xandra. Hope you're feeling good. I'll just I'm not sure if you want the yeah I don't think you want the grid showing so I'm just gonna draw this I use this silly lettering guide for everything. If I want lines evenly spaced, whatever. If I really cared a whole lot, I'd have to measure out that square, make them all evenly spaced. I'm not I'm not that anal today. So it looks like the diagonal lines you do leave in there. We'll find out.
What the heck? Okay. Nope. That one I don't think should be there. Pay attention. I shouldn't have that one in there. You know what? We'll just white it out. I'm not going to start. These are not going to be shown to anybody but me. Where did my little white out thing go? Here we go. We'll just use this. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh well. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I mean, I'm at the first stage and I'm already goofing up. This is not a good sign, boys and girls. Not a good sign at all. Alright, so in this one, you draw the hearts. So in this one, it's going to be a half a heart. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, they are using those these up and down grid lines I guess so don't do what I do do as I say okay <laughs> all right now Is that correct? I'm having like confusion right now. All right, now I get it. And I didn't go all the way down to the lines. Oh well. For this, it's fine. I'm getting the hang of it now. All right. I think I actually have a mistake on that first one, but I'll fix it on this one. Breach in it. I know it's all good. <clears throat> Jennifer's YouTube name. Um, Crack Minis, I believe. Oh, uh, now YouTube. Never mind. YouTube, that I'm not sure about. Not sure about YouTube at all.
that's the way to keep from making a mistake. Just finish that square first. Yep. Right, right. Having confusion again, duh. Because the weird thing is, you end up using the design that's left here in the center. That's what was confusing me. Now it's looking pretty good. And it's it's a lot simpler than it looks. Oh, she does have a YouTube yeah, I pretty much just put it out there. If you don't want to hear it, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Alright. I'm not going to redraw this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and... I guess at this point you wouldn't have to use that space in between. She's showing it here um, as drawn in. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it in. I think I'm going to darken all mine. I like it better that way. So I just did my own variation of this because I like it darkened in better. So if you want to see the the correct way to do this one, um, go to the website because I ended up changing it. Yep, yep, yep. And I will actually turn these more into flowers, I guess. And shade them like flowers. Well, yeah, if you work for the state, 
I suppose you do have to be more careful. Nobody can fire me. Well, wait a minute. Back up the boat. I don't think Eileen is likely to fire me. Maybe today for doing this she might, but um, no, nah, she's not going to fire me. I'm one of her biggest customers on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I like that one at the end. It's very cool. Yeah, I like mine better too. But see, I didn't go ahead and fill in like all the petal leaves, um, which I suppose you could do. Um, yeah, I'm inclined to leave it more white space. You can either you can either fire me or dock my pay. Um, you know what? Just go ahead and fire me. Don't dock my pay. Um, because I'm already working for pennies. Um, <laughs> really, like the pay around here really sucks bad. Really sucks bad. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I suppose I could. I'll write myself a note to see the original pattern. Um... So I know that I've um, bastardized it a little bit. Is Dee Dee still here? I don't know what may pop this in my head. H I J. No, Dee Dee's not here anymore. Okay, I'll have to call her. Um, I'm reading the, one of the funniest books right now. And I think her husband would love it. And if he would, I'm going to pack that book up and send it to him. So, yeah, I like my version better of it anyway. All right, the next one I had written down was Sea View. <clears throat> but anyway, the book I'm reading is um, it's a Dave Barry book. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with Dave Barry, but he's, um, he was a syndicated columnist. And he's got a dry, dry, dry wit. Um, but he, and the book is old. I found it in a used bookstore. But it's The History of America by Dave Barry. And it, honestly, I, I can't read it at night in bed because I lay there and laugh. He's so dry witted. Um, absolutely cracks me up so um, this one I thought was really unusual um, but for whatever reason it seems to me like I remember Dee Dee saying her husband likes to read um, oh this is what this one is based well hang on let's see if I can get can you guys see that Ugh. it's actually based on um, the fruit of the Metacago, which looks like a caterpillar. Well, that is some weird stuff that I have never seen before. Oh, this one's going to be hard to draw. It's called Sea View. Yeah, I'm not going to draw this one. I would never use this one, actually, so um, I just thought it was cool looking. All right, we're not going to do that one. Cabana, we'll see what it is. Dealing with a tiny person, well, that's okay. All right, I thought this one was cool looking for a border, too. A lot of these, um, they talk about where they get their ideas for the pattern. So, um, yeah, if you want to read some interest, interesting stories, there can be some interesting stories. This one's called Cabana. I just thought it was kind of cool looking how here at the end it looks woven. Um, so let's give it a whirl and see how it goes.
I th don't think I need a six pattern step out. I think I can do this one in four. That reminds me of Name That Tune. Whoever, I can name that tune in one note. What? Do you guys remember that show? Name that tune. I know a lot of you are too young, and that's probably why some of you are not recognizing some of my um, Inktobers. Because you're just babies. Yeah, it was CB. I knew you would remember it, and I know Eileen will remember it. Um, okay, Colleen, I would have thought you might be a little young. Name that tune. Now, some of these I might have been wiser to um, maybe do in pencil. You own a CD version of it? That's funny. Yes, Suzanne, graph or dot paper definitely would be a um, would be a help. I just started them on these cards, so I'm gonna finish them on these cards. I like them to um, look good, but if they're not perfect, really, it's okay. This one I should have centered more. Oh, well, I didn't. It's not the end of the world. I mean, if I was being my normal anal self, I would have measured everything. That's okay, Suzanne. Not a problem. I'm a firm believer. No stupid questions. Only stupid people who don't ask them if they don't know. <laughs> right? Alright. Definitely not perfect. Alright, this one, she has put lines down the edges. So we'll try and draw within those confines. The spacing on this could be a little funky because, remember, it's all got to weave together at the end. Pressure lock. No whammy, no whammy, stop. Oh, my gosh. Now, see, I was probably working. I never got to see pressure lock. No whammy, no whammy. Yeah, I didn't get to see any of that. Okay, I did that a little bit different than it was shown um, and I forgot that I'm doing a step out now I'm just drawing the pattern dumbass here's how I'll do this rather than start over I'll draw myself a little arrow that I'm going down this time 
<laughs> and then back up. How's that to fix your card? Yeah, the gong show. I do remember the gong show. Um, I, I'm not sure that I was ever much of a game show watcher, though, frankly. Let's make a deal. Of course, it's on now, I think. People would dress all up in crazy costumes and get Monty Hall to give them money. Monty Hall just died not very long ago, and Monty Hall was from Canada, which I didn't realize. So there you go. All right, I'll just go ahead and... I'm pretty sure it was Monty Hall that I saw that had died. Alright, there. I fixed my boo-boo. I remember when I was young, um, spend the weekends with your grandparents. Yeah, I like the Laugh-In show, Josie. I did too. Now, a lot of the women here probably won't remember Laugh-In either because, um, shoot, I was pretty young when Laugh-In was on. I remember watching it at home with Mom and Dad. Goldie Hawn and, yeah. It was a good show. Um, but I, I remember being young, and when I would stay home from school, which was not often, believe me, my mother did not, um, did not let you stay home from school unless you were close to your deathbed. You went to school or to work, no matter what. Yeah, I But laying on her bed when I was sick, watching um, game shows and the Loretta Lynn show. Do you remember? Oh, it wasn't Loretta Lynn. Um, Loretta Young, I think. Um, yeah, that was Rowan and Martin, Carol. Um, yep. That's what I like to do when I stayed home from school sick, is watch game shows. But otherwise, I didn't get to watch game shows. Yeah, this one is coming out cool because it does look woven, which I like that look. Does anybody else remember the Loretta Young show? Dark Shadows? I remember Dark Shadows, but I never got to watch it because I was either working or, um, yeah, I didn't get to watch it. Um, the only thing I might do different the next time is that area in the center. Maybe leave a little bit more space between them so it looks like a Y coming down. Um, but yeah, I like that one. I like that one a lot. And I suppose you would add the shadows where everything dips down, right? The shadows to be here. And at the top here, where the, that disappears, I guess. Now this side, this is a, a border pattern that I will light in the beast.
Yeah, I didn't get to watch. Now in high school, I started watching one soap opera that I that I've only ever watched in my whole life because I was never a soap opera fan either. Um, was all my children, and I would hurry, hurry home because I got out of high school at noon because um, I had all my credits early. But and I would run home to watch all my kids. Otherwise, nope. Didn't get to watch daytime TV ever. Oops, knocked the card off. Hang on, I'll retrieve it. All right, there. Oh, it's even cooler when you get the shadow on it. See, and that one was pretty darn simple. Hi, Rebecca. I'm doing tangle for you today, Rebecca. All my children, one life to live in General Hospital. Yeah, no, the only one I, well, I maybe watched General Hospital once or twice, but as a rule, no, all my kids was the only one I got to watch. Okay, we have a little bit of time left. Jean is streaming today, right? Because she said she had pictures picked out, so don't let her go to sleep. And the other one I had seen was Chock-a-Box. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these right either. Okay? I just make this stuff up. Robert's mother um, loved... I can't remember which one, but man, you knew. Do not call Roberta during her soap opera. She would absolutely. Oh, I'm not going to draw that one. I just thought it was fun. Um, you still watch Days of Your Lives? I think that was the one my grandmother watched, CB. My grandmother and my aunt. And my aunt went to Germany with the military for three years. She came back. And my grandmother tried to ca was catching her up, and it literally took 15 minutes to fill her in on three years of shows, which cracked me up. Yeah, see, I don't necessarily like this. I just thought the shape was very interesting. But yeah, yeah, you don't need to step out for that, right? And I would probably do this different. If I was going to do the... Um, a drawing of this and maybe I'll just put it in the front of the book draw it once and put it in the front of the book I would show people to draw this start with a pencil draw yourself a circle here draw yourself a bigger circle here right and then with your pen I mean if you're gonna try and make this stuff easy do it this way There. Now you've got the, what they call it? Chuck a box. Simple stuff. And probably more accurate because your circles are going to be better. Right? There's your chuck a box. It looks like a kid's dinosaur. Exactly. There, that's how easy that is. Now these are things, you guys, that if you're if you're wanting to learn to draw, make yourself do stuff like that. Um, it will improve your drawing skills. Just saying, it really will. So there's the chalk box. I'm not actually going to put that in my. Oh, I just lost my thing. All right. Oh no, I didn't. Yay me. A drunk C clef, yeah. <laughs> All right, cha chain, chi chain. Okay, that was somebody else. Somebody told me to look up, 
but I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking it up. Um, CB, let me um, because I've got all the ones that I had um on here. So let me go back to Google, Google, Google. Because that was as far as I'd got in looking these up. You can see how long I was dinking around on this. Ta it is on Tangle Patterns? Well, why am I not finding it? C H E C H I N, right? Right, right, right. Your nephew got engaged, Jay. I got news that my nephew's wife is pregnant, and I, I'm not sure I'm happy about it. <laughs> All right, I'm looking it up. CB. That one's named after my granddaughter. All right, I will. Give me a second. Thought somebody was here. All right, here we go. All right, it's searching. Is that the one? That you guys are talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, CB said it was kind of um, steampunkish. That is cool. What the heck? Let's give it a try. Why not? We got nothing better to do. Got it. Got it covered, CB. I'm kind of like UCB. I like the flowery ones um, or the ones that get lost in the background. Looks like a bunch of smashed dice. <laughs> Eileen, you have such a funny take on the world. <clears throat> now, the way they show this one, I think, is really odd, too. That they show you the lines. Um... I probably would show you the diamonds first. 
Um, so I don't know. I guess everybody's approach to this is different. But I guess so it's you don't close the diamonds. They want you to leave the, the ends of the diamonds open. So we'll go ahead and do it their way. Mine are definitely not uniform, right? I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, see I closed the end of that one. That's what they don't want you to do. This little template here, the four one, it's really simple. Um, go to Dollar Tree, get yourself a cutting mat. Measure out, I think they're one inch squares. Make sure you, I know, I know, Eileen. Um, yeah, these are one inch squares with slightly less than an eighth of an inch in between them, and they are they measure two and a half across. So you've got um, room to play with. Inch top and bottom, you can put these anywhere on up and down that you want, and cut it with an exacto knife out of a cutting mat from Dollar Tree. That's my free advice to you. All right, here we go. I left the ends open, Eileen. Are you very proud of me? Alright, there's the little dude. These are wonky steampunk diamonds. Alright, and they have drawn an aura around the diamonds. I'm not going to step it out again because by now I pretty much have it figured out, you know? It is very steampunk looky, I have to say.
Arting. <clears throat> you don't want to get things stuck in there. I have no clue what they're talking about. So I'm just going on about my deal. All right, and then put lines here to indicate depth and shadow, I'm assuming. I think the thing that looks it makes this one look so cool, CB, is the color background because this doesn't look near as cool in black and white. But I'm going to go ahead and um, shade it in the background so it looks like it has depth. But I think if I was more careful with the spacing on this one, this one could look way, way, way cool. Wait, 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 wait. Drug addict. Where'd my eraser go? Oh, I'm using it as a prop. <laughs> Duh. In case you guys are wondering, I'm sitting here thinking about food. Must be that time of day. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this I like this better now that I've um, colored in the background a little bit. I'll clean up the edges here in just a second. Suzanne, did you find the name of that leaf one that you were talking about? Now that one I like after I've um, just sitting there talking about food. Your ATCs are done, yeah. Yeah, I like this one. This is a kind of a cool one. It's different, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I like that one. Didn't take long to draw either, huh? That now has sweaty... What? <laughs> I so want to know where that conversation started from. Cool one, CB. Alright, give me another one. You did leaflet? Um, I guess I'm going to have to Google it, huh? Google it. Was it on, um, well, I, it doesn't matter. I'll just Google it and see. See what I come, oh, she spilled glitter in her bed. All right, all right. That's that makes a whole lot more sense. I think I've actually done that one. Um, let me look in my book, but I'm pretty sure that one I have done. It looks really familiar. Yep, 
yeah, I've done it. Here it is. May not look as pretty as theirs. Um, but yeah, I've done that one. Let me look at theirs and see how close mine is. Theirs is prettier. I like too where they did the um, I don't want to push that because that's a um, a video. So um, where they left the lines in between. That was kind of cool. But yeah, I've done leaflet. I don't art in my bed. Now, I do art on the couch, but I would never do um, glitter on the couch. That sort of stuff, glues and glitters. Yeah, I don't do that. All right, there's leaflet. They don't have the variation, I guess, with it. Oh, this one's cool. We have to look at this one. I like this one. Come on. I guess I'm going to have to write it down and search for it. E N I O K E N. Some of them I have to just do um, to see if I can. Ginkgo. Ginkgo, Ginkgo, E F G. Ginkgo. I do not have ginkgo. We will look it up and see what it is about. Huh. They've detected a security problem. What the hell? <laughs> Now it won't let me do anything. It won't follow the instructions. I'm going to have to shut it off. Start over. Okay, Ange, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Ange. I'm paying attention. <laughs> um... The pen that I am using, this pen, is a hybrid Technica. It's the pen I use for everything. Um, I write with it. I draw with it. I do everything with this pen. It's like a rollerball, but it's in a 3.03 .03 nib. So you get tiny, tiny, tiny lines. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry I was ignoring you, Jennifer. Uh, Ange has adequately chewed my butt. So, um, yeah, so that's the pen. And then these, of course, you've seen the microns. I love those brown microns. I have a set of colored microns somewhere. Um, I like the brown ones. I think brown Zentangle on tan background paper would be awesome. See what Zentangle can do? Get security messed up. Yeah, I, this Kindle has been acting up, which um, kind of scares me because I love my Kindle. Um, it's by Pentel, P E N T E L. It's a hybrid Technica 03 nib. They come in 03. You can buy a set of them that has 03, 04, 05, and 06, I think, at. Um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. They're um, pricey bet. I mean, I think they're pricey when you do that it that way. Um, I just buy them by the box from Amazon because I use this 03 so much. So, now let's see if my Kindle will want to work. This time. Even it messed up, it's better than an iPad. I agree. I, I love this Kindle, honestly. Of all the electronics I use, and I use my laptop a lot, um, I probably use this Kindle 
more than anything. I look or just do stuff with this all day long. <clears throat> and it's they're so cheap. I mean, I think I paid like 69 bucks for this one. And I know you can buy a lot nicer ones, but what do I need? a fancy one for, right? There you go, Jennifer Krakalekin has it looked up. Alright, Jean's food showed up. Alright, let's see. Any Oaken. Look at some of these Zentangles, you guys. Look at these. They are so amazing. That looks like it's it's beaded. It's like a beaded Zentangle. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Now that is something to aspire to. This one is gorgeous. But that is really all about the shading, you guys. Every bit of that. There's nothing hard. Any one of us could do that. For real. It's all about the shading. That is fabulous. I love that. Look at this one. <sighs> all right. Tutorial PDF by Anyokin. Maybe that is not... Maybe that's somebody's name. <laughs> How much space does it have? My little Kindle? I don't know. I don't really store anything on it. Um, I keep... Oh, there's brown. Hang on. I want to show that to Jennifer because she got those brown pens last night. Look at the brown on the tan, Jennifer. That is cool looking. And to give it that kind of depth, all you have to do is draw a curved line. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Anyokin is a person's name. It's not a design. <laughs> Dumbass. All right, give me another pattern. I know some of these are unbelievable. Look at so simple. Yeah, I like the sepia too. That's jewelry. I already looked at that. All right, any Oaken is a person's name. Never mind. I'm such a dumbass. You know what? I have a bunch of cards that were sent to me. I need to get those out and share them with you guys. All right, give me another pattern. Any Oaken is a beater. Okay, because I was going to say, a lot of, she's doing tangle patterns too, Eileen, but she's turning them into jewelry. Is that not fabulous? But back here, she's showing you, um, yeah, see these, how to shade these, and it's the same person. So she must have branched out a little bit because it's showing her tangle patterns and her jewelry. Very talented woman, I will say that. Very talented. There's some more of her jewelry. And I'm not a jewelry person. I can't um, wear metal. Okay, Copata. All right. Um, so... Um, I can appreciate beautiful jewelry, but I can't wear it unless it's 18 or 24 karat gold. Um, so, it is a great thing to use the tangle patterns for, right, Eileen? See, we, learn, we actually learned something here today. I didn't know if we were going to learn a darn thing and obviously didn't care a whole lot. Um,
I just wanted to draw these patterns because CB has been posting them and I'm like, oh, I want to do that. So here's a tango pattern. Actually, CB, I think I might have that one. It might be called something different. Um, that looks familiar to me, though. What was Suzanne's? I did look up Suzanne's. I already had that one, unless it was another one that I didn't see. Yeah, I already have that one, um, CB. All done with it. I like that one. It's very simple, but pretty. That's what, you can't wear gold except 18 karat. Yeah, see, I can't. So that's why I wear no rings. Um, I I wear earrings, a set of earrings all the time that Robert bought me, but they're 24 karat gold. Um, oh, okay, Suzanne, tell me the name. Linen Spiel Zentangle. What the hell are you guys talking about? All right, what was the name, Suzanne? And I'm going to look it up. We don't have a huge amount of time left because um, Jean is going to come on and paint for us. Oh, it is called Linen Spiel. All right, well, there you go. See, I thought that was like a name or something. All right, I'm looking it up. Now, that one, the name doesn't even found, sound familiar. L-I-N-I-E-N. S P I E L E. All right, let's look what comes up. Oh, that's a cool looking one. How to do linen spiel. We'll just go there and see. It's taking me to Pinterest. You can rub 24 karat gold on me, and if the skin turns black, it's not real 24 karat gold. Really? That's amazing. Well, I'll just break out. I mean, I break out in hives if I, um, no, not if I just touch metal, but like if I wore a ring, a cheap ring, or earrings. I thought I couldn't wear earrings for the longest time. And I've had my ears pierced since I was about 10. My sister-in-law did it with a needle for me. Um, but yeah, I just break out in hives and I start itching. So um, this is a fun zentangle. Hmm. Well, actually, it's it looks just like a an aura. I'll just go ahead and do this step out card so I can put it in the book. Where's my pen? Move this down for you guys. Okay, likely allergic to nickel? Huh. Well, I know it's easier not to wear any kind of jewelry. Um, and now I've gotten um, so used to not wearing jewelry. Like that bracelet that Paula made me, I love it. I think it's beautiful. But I'm so used to not having anything on me that when I tried to wear that, Oh, it just bugged the hell out of me. So I use it as a charm on one of my one of my journals. Um, isn't that funny? See, I thought it had to do something with how acid or alkali you were, whether or not metal turned you um, green or black or whatever. Um, so this is called linen spiel. I'm going to have to look it up again. L i n.
I just wrote it in pencil until I can figure out. All right, so this one looks like a big old blob of jellyfish. Right? That's what it looks like to me. Just a blob of jellyfish. This is very interesting one, though. I guess I could be doing this one in ink, because... All right, so then the next one, it looks like they're just R-ing it is all they're doing. Um, And just keep doing that. Space germs. Just like the never ending line. Right? Yeah, I hate perfumes too. Um, they give me headaches. I'm a pain in the butt girl, honestly, and I don't like things that most girls like. I love art supplies, so you guys get that. But like, um, going shopping for um, shoes or clothes. Honest to God, you guys, that would be torture to me. Torture. That's why I love online shopping. I use soap too, but I, I have to use ivory because other kinds break me out too. It looks like a jack. Yeah, it does. Okay, Kia, um, where'd my purple piece of paper go? I will definitely go look there. It's called Kia, oops, <laughs> K-I-A-2828. Okay, I will definitely search for you. Ivory to me is the only one. If I use like um, Zest or Dial or Irish Spring or any of them, um, yeah, I'm so sorry later. Um, I can use glycerin soap on my face, but otherwise, yeah, I have to be really careful. Laundry detergents the same way. I just, I'm really weird that way. If they don't get rinsed completely, oh boy. Big trouble, big, big trouble. So, actually, I think I'm going to draw on the inside of this one. Because my original star was too big, I think. But this one's easy to fix, I have to say. So yeah, I guess you could just, I use soap, Josie. I just use um, ivory soap. 
I guess, I don't know if it's the most pure, whatever. I can use Dove as well. Um, Robert likes Ivory better, probably because he doesn't smell like a girl. And I'm not having two bars of soap in this shower. But yeah, I just use soap. I did try some different body washes, but I, I, I didn't like them. Anyway, so I'm going to stop the recording here. Um, if you watched, thank you for watching. Um, make any comments or like or whatever below. And try and come and join a love a live stream over at Ustream. Thanks for watching.